Over the last year, while our organisations like Gold were focused on the emergency response of one of the biggest disasters that we've seen in a modern generation, uh, the international community failed to work closely uh, with the uh, government of Haiti. They w failed to work with them to rebuild the government, to rebuild the institutions that support the government, to help them to come up with the kind of plan, the strategy that we needed to follow to, to rebuild this country. They simply failed. A lot of the money that was promised by the international community simply doesn't seem to have been delivered. What has been the impact of that? Well, what I can say is that the people who are standing around, there's some 60,000 people standing in the camp around me who don't deserve to be there today. Gold was heavily funded by the American government following the emergency and by the Irish government and by Europe. And we've worked hard over the last year and we have had some successes. But our approach has been ad hoc because there hasn't been this overarching plan that all of the aid organisations would work together to follow. Without that plan, it's going to be ad hoc, it's not going to be quick enough, and the major issues that deal with land tenure and the political issues at a local level and at a national level will not be overcome unless the international community work hand in hand at building this uh, government's capacity and building their capacity to spend and spend intelligently. Darren, it sounds like it must be hugely frustrating for the aid agencies on the ground like yourselves, who really are left with very little to do apart from just try and keep people alive. Yeah, well, the simple fact is aid organisations will not rebuild Haiti. We will not rebuild Port-au-Prince. That's not what we're here for. The politicians and the international community working with the government of Haiti will allow the people of Haiti to rebuild this country for themselves. What the aid organisations can do is we can smooth that process. We can work with the communities in the areas where we're working to build their capacity, to give them the skills to work at a local level, to rebuild their, their livelihoods and their families. We have done that where we're working. But at the national level, if we don't have this oversight and this leadership at a national level, you know, it's only going to be so much that we can do. Now, we would love to be building thousands of houses every week. We would love to be doing that. And, you know, we have the capacity to do that. But unless we have the oversight and the higher level direction, it will not be done. Darren, a message that I'm sure we are all hearing loud and clear from Port-au-Prince uh, tonight. Darren Hanafy from the charity Gold. Appreciate your time. Thanks for talking.